Hello friends, today our learning target is I can add and subtract within 20. All right, this is the worksheet you will be working on today and we will be going over a little bit of it. It's called using addition to subtract. This right here says you can use an addition fact to help you write a subtraction fact with the same numbers. So on here, I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. We can think again of this fact family house when we are doing it. We're gonna have the same three numbers in the fact family house, and we're gonna be making subtraction problems out of the same numbers that our addition problems were in. So I'm gonna start with this problem down here first, and then we're gonna to go to a bit of a bigger problem. So for my problem right here, I've got three plus two equals blank. So we would figure that out. I wrote three right here in the red, and then I drew two more in the green. So we can go ahead and add that all up. One, two, three, four, five. So we can see that three plus two equals five. And I'm gonna go ahead and circle that. So that is our whole number, that's the whole amount of three plus two. So remember when we're subtracting, we always start with that biggest number. So we can see that out of all of our numbers, we've got three, two, and five. Five is our biggest number. So we're gonna be making a subtraction problem out of five. So we've got our whole number right here, which is five, we've got five all together. And we're gonna be making a subtraction problem. So we're gonna be taking it away. And you can either choose to take away the green or the red. So remember the green is two and the red is three. So we can just go ahead and take away two. So we're gonna do five minus two. And that leaves us, do you see how it leaves us with the red? Which is three. So that's how you make a subtraction problem out of an addition problem. So if you knew what five minus two was, then you would know what three plus two was. So do you see how they're related? We can use the same numbers. So we're gonna go to a bit of a bigger problem now. Now I have 11 plus four, and I already drew the 11 plus four squares for us. So we have 11 red squares plus four, green squares and I actually drew five. That's why we always have to double check our work. So let's go ahead and add 11 plus four. So I already know there's 11 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And now we're gonna add four more. One, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now we know 11 plus four equals 15. And that is our whole number right here. See that? All together it equals 15. So what do you think our subtraction problem will start with? Yeah, it's going to start with that whole number. We want to start with the biggest number. So we're going to start our subtraction problem with 15. And we can either subtract our red, which is 11, or we can subtract our green, which is four. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 11 from our problem and see what it gets us. So remember, we're just using the same numbers in here. They're related. Our problems are related. So if we do 15 minus 11, what do you think the answer would be? Yeah, so we're just taking away these 11 squares, which is all my red ones, and we are left over with these four green squares. So we know that 15 minus 11 equals one, two, three, four. And look at that, we are using the same numbers up here. So we just took the sum or the answer to our addition problem, and we made it a subtraction problem, and we found out that 15 minus that 11 equals four. It is just like our fact family house. All we did was have 15 
four and 11, and we created two different problems that are related to each other. So now you guys can go ahead and go back to your seats. Well, I guess you're gonna go back to your couch or wherever you're working on this at, and you can go ahead and do our worksheet that we have. And it's the same exact thing we worked on today in our video. Bye guys.